hello my crypto friend welcome to this video my name is Moose uh, the giant from Durban South Africa in this video I am assuming that you have already completed the first initial steps uh, like registering your Vala wallet account downloading the Vala app and installing it on your smartphone verifying your Vala account and maybe if you bank with FNB you have also already watched this video called FNB account linking and auto buy crypto right um, right now you are watching a video in uh, titled standard bank account linking and auto buy crypto because um, it's possible that you are using FNB and maybe even standard bank as well so um, I just dedicated this video in showing you exactly how to go about using standard bank to dollar cost your average I mean to dollar cost average into crypto so that you can create a diversified crypto portfolio starting with just 50 rands you also could be using multiple bank accounts you might have a bank an FNB account standard bank account capital account and any other bank account so you can use any bank account that allows you to schedule payments all right with all of that being said we're gonna get started with this video called standard bank account linking and auto buy crypto so we're gonna be linking your standard bank account with your Vala wallet exchange so you need to do two things first thing you need to log on to your Vala wallet just like so second thing you need to open your standard bank app and log in like so all right so now let's go ahead and do the first part of this video tutorial which is going to be adding recipients or beneficiaries depending on the bank you are using so standard bank call them uh, beneficiaries so basically we're going to be adding all the crypto coins that we want to buy on Vala automatically uh, at a predetermined date and at a predetermined amount of money for a predetermined number of months all right so in order for you to understand exactly what I'm trying to explain here the best way to do that is to actually do it all right so what I will do is to switch to my Vala wallet and then once you switch to your Vala wallet, what you want to do is to make sure that you are on the home page, as you can see here, and then you click on the auto buy button here. And then from this down arrow, choose, we're going to start with Bitcoin. So click the down arrow and then click on Bitcoin. And then you're going to have some information that is displayed here. If you did watch my FNB uh, tutorial video, you would already understand this. If you haven't yet, just go through this page and understand this information so but because of time I just want to go straight to where the meet and put titles is at so as you can see we have the bank details that um, which belong to uh, Vala so what we want to do is to copy the account number and we're gonna switch to the bank to the standard bank app and press the transact button and then click pay and then click add beneficiary so remember we're just adding all the coins or all the crypto coins or currencies that we want to buy automatically every month through VAR and then click on add beneficiary and then the account holder name is Vala we're gonna call it Vala exchange right so Vala banks with standard bank so we're gonna leave that as is now remember we copied the Vala standard bank account from the Vala app so now it's time for us to paste it over here like so and then their reference and my reference I would like to recommend that you put the same reference that we're gonna get from the Vala exchange wallet so let's go there very important to notice that because we're adding Bitcoin, the reference begins with BTC, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is just to press once on the, the um, reference code and then switch to your standard bank account and 
click where it says they are reference paste it there and do the same thing paste the same code where it says my reference okay just to be on the safe side you don't want to put something wrong there right so put it twice like so and then proof of payment you can request proof of, proof of payment if you want to and uh, in my case I don't want to do that and um, click the review button at the top here and then Standard Bank will automatically detect the Vala company because it's a registered company as you can see now they just change the name the account holder name for us to Vala PTY LTD because that is how Vala is registered as a an official and legit company so their reference remember we we we, um, we pasted, pasted the same reference in both boxes where it says their reference and my reference just to be safe proof of payment no proof of payment i don't want it in my case but if you want it you can uh, select here but you'll be charged um, a fee if you choose proof of payment so in my case i don't i don't care about it and then click review again and then the references are good and then press press confirm right so we have added our first beneficiary which is btc uh, which is going to buy us a bitcoin at a predetermined date every month for a predetermined number of months right but we are not done yet we are going to um go back to the home page of our standard bank app and then go back to Vala and then press the close button to close the, the this page and then we're starting now from the auto buy button so press auto buy again and then click the down arrow here to select the cryptocurrency so the second currency we want to add is ethereum information is there take your time and go through it all i'm interested in is to copy the account number from vala switch back to the standard bank app press transact press pay and then press add a beneficiary add a beneficiary and then account holder name we're going to call it vala exchange like we did before we're adding the second uh, recipient or beneficiary right now and we're just going to paste the vala account number there their reference and my reference we're going to go back to vala now notice that now this um, reference code begins with eth for ethereum right so we're going to copy it switch back to the vala app and we're going to paste it twice just like we did with the btc one proof of payment i'm not interested and then click on review again standard bank will pick up the vala pty ltd company name the references are good press review again and press confirm so we just added our second beneficiary so let's go back to the starting page and then switch back to our vala wallet scroll down a bit and then click on close click on auto buy this time around let us select xrp scroll down a bit copy the account number you just press once to copy it and then click on add bene a beneficiary again add beneficiary and then pay and then type the account holder name it's vala exchange even though they're going to change it for us as we saw before vala banks with standard bank so leave that as is and then paste the account number we copied from Vala, and then let us now go and get our reference code now this time around notice that this code begins with xrp for repo right so each and every single cryptocurrency that we're going to be buying automatically on a monthly basis for a predetermined number of months begins with a unique reference code or with a unique uh, letters right so we will just press once on the reference code switch back to our Vala and paste it in their reference box and repeat it in my reference box to be safe and then after that press the review button at the top here and I, i'm sure now you are following you understanding exactly what is happening so just press review confirm 
we are just adding beneficiaries for now we are not paying them yet because we want to schedule payments all right let's go back and switch back to the Vala app scroll down a bit close click auto buy select the third the fourth cryptocurrency Solana and go down a bit copy the account number switch back to standard bank app add a beneficiary add a beneficiary we're going to type Vala let's just type Vala because they're going to update it for us anyway as you saw and paste the account number let's go back and copy the reference notice now that uh, the Solana reference begins with Sol so press it once to copy it switch back to your Senate Bank app and paste it twice in the reference boxes review review again everything is looking good confirm press the back button and then go back to Vala we're gonna add our fifth cryptocurrency that we want to dollar cost average for a predetermined number of months we're gonna press auto buy again cryptocurrency this time around we're gonna select avalanche which is third from the bottom right this is my uh, recommended top five biggest cryptocurrencies in the world that I would like to recommend that you you buy uh, on VAR through your standard bank account so we're gonna copy the account number go back to standard bank add a beneficiary add beneficiary and uh, voila I'm sure you understand exactly what we're doing now so it's very easy it's very very easy very easy notice now this one at uh, the avalanche uh, reference code it begins with uh, AVEX for avalanche just copy put it twice How easy review review confirm right now when we go back to um, Vala and uh, close this go back to auto buy select now there are other cryptocurrencies that you can also add if you wanted to uh, have a bigger selection of cryptocurrencies that you are buying on a monthly basis uh, like uh, BNB, Binance Coin, Shiba Inu if you love Shiba Inu but I wouldn't recommend that you buy uh, stable coins like USDT and um, the USDC because those are stable coins that they do not gain value over time they just stay as uh, as they are right so uh, for these demonstration purposes we have completed the first part of it of adding the cryptocurrencies that we want to buy on a monthly basis uh, with a predetermined amount per coin and remember that the minimum you can allocate per coin is um, 50 range so let's just go back to our standard bank app now it's time to schedule the actual payments all right so when we scroll down a little bit now we should be able to see the beneficiaries that we added as you can see right here all right so we're gonna start um we're gonna start with uh, btc right so let me just press on this one here btc and then press pay so we are not necessarily paying right now but we are scheduling the payment right as you will see as we continue here so let's just say i want to allocate 150 to bitcoin every month i want 150 to be sent from my uh, standard bank account automatically to vala and buy me btc or bitcoin right and then I have just indicated the amount I want to dollar cost average with and then now I need to schedule the payment so click on schedule payment and then switch on this the, the schedule this payment uh, uh, box here or button and then it, how often how often do you want to buy Bitcoin right so click where it says how often you can do it uh, just once but obviously that's not a good idea because now if you just do it once then your crypto portfolio is not going to grow right so you can do it daily if you have you know the necessary funds in your uh, standard bank uh, account you can do it weekly or monthly but for these demonstration purposes um, 
we're going to do it monthly you can even do it last day of the month if you want but we we're gonna select monthly for these demonstration purposes now for how many months so when where it says number of monthly payments we need to indicate for how many months we're gonna do this one for 12 months remember that uh, the, the maximum is up to 36 payments or 36 months so when is the first payment uh, date when do you want this to kick off in my case I'm gonna I want it to start on the 25th of actually I get paid on, on the 25th so I wanted to to go through on the 26th of October I wanted to start on the 26th of October just giving it one day um, after my payment or after my uh, yes after I receive I have received my uh, my payment and then click OK my salary I mean to say so now this is the review page it's showing us that we have selected these options we are scheduling a payment of 150 rent to go through every month for the next 12 months and buy us Bitcoin on Vala right and then press done button and then press the review again this is just uh, a confirmation page double check everything to see that is uh, the way you want it so the reference is BTC which we copied from Vala and uh, we are buying BTC that is worth 150 every month for the next 12 months and if everything you see here is the way that you want it to be just press confirm yes. and just like that you have confirmed your scheduled payment that will kick off exactly on the date that you would have selected as you can see uh, in my one it does tell me that the first payment will go through on the 20 on Thursday 26th of October 2023 and the last payment will go through on Thursday 26 September 2024 right so uh, from the 26th of, of, uh, of October I do not have to do anything else uh, this process is going to be 100% automated for me right so because I'm happy with this just click on the done button so we have done the first cryptocurrency which is Bitcoin let's go back to the list of our beneficiaries this time around let us click the pay button for the if um, cryptocurrency so click pay but remember we are not necessarily paying right now we want to schedule a payment and I want to spend, I want to invest um, 200 trends every month on this one. S and then click on schedule payment, switch this toggle button on. How often? It's monthly. For how many months? For 12 months. And uh, when is my first payment? 26th of October. And press the done button over there and press review if everything is looking good on this confirmation window just click the confirm button and we have scheduled the second cryptocurrency payment to buy us uh, 200 rand worth of ethereum on a monthly basis uh, from the 26th of october which will be on thursday 2023 uh, until the 26th of september 2024 so we are done so press the done button at the top here let's do the third one we are now doing xrp so press the pay button on xrp i want to invest um 50 rents let's say every month and then press schedule payment toggle this button on how often monthly i'm sure you are, you are now just seeing how easy this is but this one i want it to run for 24 months the first payment date I want it to be on the 26th of October and press the done button at the top here review everything press review button at the top here everything is looking good now I will be able to buy 50 rands worth of, of uh, XRP every month for the next 12 months I mean for the next 24 months for this one it will happen on the 25th of every month so this is good I will press confirm here and as you can see it will start on the 26th of October 2023 and the last payment will be on the 26th of September 2025 all right for XRP so this is good press done button and let's go ahead and schedule Solana just just press the pay button here 
and on Solana I want to invest 300 rands every month and then press review sorry actually I'm supposed to press schedule payment first because I'm not buying it now right so schedule payment toggle this button on how often I want it to happen every month and I want it to happen for the next 12 months first date is 26th of October for me for you it might be a different date and then press the done button at the top here and then press review and then confirm and just like that we have scheduled a payment to go through and buy us um, which crypto is the Solana every month for the next uh, how many months for the next 12 months from uh, the 26th of October 2023 to um, 26th of September 2024 and then just press the done button so as you can see here it's very very uh, you know flexible you can allocate any amount um, you know on different cryptocurrencies uh, from a minimum of 50 rands upwards so let's just do the last one which is avalanche so just click the pay button for avalanche and um, on avalanche I want to invest 250 rands every month and uh, press schedule payment and toggle this button on how often on a monthly basis and I want to do this for the next 36 months and uh, first payment I wanted to go through on the 26th of every month uh, and then press done and press review and confirm and done all right so as you can see we have done exactly what we wanted to do today we just uh, the first part of it was to uh, add the beneficiaries which were these as you can see here and then after we have added all the correct uh, details the way we did uh, we then scheduled payments uh, you know for each cryptocurrency that we added as a beneficiary we specified uh, the amount the date and everything that as you saw basically I don't even have to make this video even longer than it's supposed to because I believe that you now understand exactly how to automate the process of uh, buying cryptocurrency on your Vala wallet and um, in my next video I will uh, show you how to use your Capitec account to dollar cost average into crypto using your Vala um, wallet so Again, with all of that being said, I hope that this video has been informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our WhatsApp group by clicking this button here if you are not in the group yet and uh, be able to uh, ask your questions and we'll do our best to support you and answer your questions. At the very bottom of this page, you will notice that there are three icons. The WhatsApp icon, you can chat with me directly. The Facebook icon, if you want to uh, also connect uh, via Facebook, you can also follow me on Facebook and also on Twitter as well, right? So um, as I indicated at the beginning of this tutorial video, my mission is to onboard at least 10,000 people um, into cryptocurrency space and just show them how to uh, invest in different cryptocurrencies. Uh, for this video, we selected uh, just a minimum of five cryptocurrencies, but of course you can just uh, buy one cryptocurrency every month. You can buy two three or as many as you can you know afford it depends on your budget but it is flexible as you can see here at the top i said it is easy safe and flexible and i hope that i, um, I did manage to show you exactly how easy it was and it is safe because uh, vala is a very you know legit company it is even insured meaning that if something was to happen to vala they will be able to uh, you know uh, refund you all the money that you might have have uh, in their uh, cryptocurrency exchange it is flexible by that I mean to say if you happen to need your money before the end of the scheduled payments you can actually um, sell your crypto for Zara and withdraw your money back to your standard bank account if that's what you want to do and also the all the recipients that we added you can actually delete them if you no longer want uh, this thing to go on uh, all these uh, recipients here or beneficiaries if you will change your mind or whatever the case is or maybe you lost your job whatever the case is you can just click on the one you want to delete as you can see here I just selected the Shiba one and then you can click on these three buttons here or dots and then just click on delete and then by so doing then there will be no more 
um, money leaving your standard bank uh, account and going to Vala to buy your cryptocurrency all right but I would like to encourage you to try and stick to uh, you know the schedule that you would have created for you in order for you to see you know the benefits and uh, the results that you are hoping for when it comes to cryptocurrency investing so again with all of that being said uh, thank you so much for watching this video I hope that it has been informative I hope that you did learn a thing or two or more and I look forward to um, sharing more tutorial videos with you and chatting with you in our WhatsApp group and other social networks as well. The name is Moussa the Giant from Devon, South Africa. The mission is crystal clear and that is to get this crypto. Bye for now.